So we would like to welcome back to the stage Logan Phillips. Come on, make some noise. Yo, how about your hosts right now? Are they doing an awesome job or what? It ain't hard to tell. They learned this on the job, that's for sure. So real quick, I want to tell you a little bit about how the Tucson Youth Poetry Slam works. Because um, do you agree with me that the work that you're hearing is amazing today? Right? Isn't it amazing? This doesn't come out of nowhere, right? So we do regular slams at Bentley's House of Coffee and Tea. Those happen every third Saturday. Uh, we start off every slam with a writing workshop. So the idea is any young person in our community from the age of 9 to 19 could walk in to the, uh, the, the poetry uh, workshop at Bentley's, never having written anything before and be led to write something that they are happy with, maybe even happy enough with uh, to slam it that night. So we think that this poetry slam thing is a wonderful doorway to the literary arts and a doorway to literary engagement and community engagement, right? So um, that takes a lot of work, obviously. And it starts with um, young people showing up and it starts with um, work in the schools. So we regularly work at Sunnyside High School. We regularly work at Pueblo High school. We've been to, I think, 17 different schools this season, um, including uh, Douglas High School, uh, which is how some of our poets got all the way up here from Douglas, which is awesome, and through uh, their teacher. And we would not be able to do the work we, are, we do without the people who we call spark plugs. Spark plugs are teachers who go way beyond the call of duty. And they are so awesome that they don't just do their job and go home, but like many teachers, they take it to the nth degree, right? They bring poets into their classrooms, they bring guest artists in their classroom. Please applaud all of the teachers in our community, especially the public school teachers, ladies and gentlemen. 